So how's life? Um, it's not bad. Who's yeah. doing the interviewing here? Me or you? <laughs> I think you are. So yeah, I'll switch exactly. around now. When did you first start dancing and why? Uh, I first started dancing when I was three. My mom, she always wanted to be a dancer. When I was born, it was kind of like she's going to be the dancer. When I was younger, I loved it, but uh, I was really bad. It was horrible because I would come home sobbing, like, I don't want to dance anymore. And it, it's hard for a parent to be like, I'm going to push her, although she doesn't want this right now, because something told her that eventually it would be a good thing. And do you see it as a good yeah. thing now, like yeah. with hindsight? And are you glad <laughs> yeah, you did what you did? Yeah, I'm glad she forced me to dance. Are your family quite critical of you? Or do they turn around and go, what the hell was that? There have been moments where they've been like, I'm so sorry about that. You know, starting and ending with Russian folk dance. What the folk? What, <laughs> what the folk? You must have been a bit like, oh my goodness, we pulled this out of the hat <laughs> and this could actually send us home. I was totally fine until like, right when we were back there, right about to walk on stage, and I looked down at what I was wearing, and I was like, I'm about to go out wearing this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I had a panic attack, and I was about to start crying, and Philip's like, shh, it's only minute 30, like, you'll be fine. <laughs> We ask you to try anything and everything we throw at you on this program. I'm just not sure we should have thrown that. Well, we talked about the least favourite dance. What's uh -huh. been your favourite? Definitely Jason and I's contemporary piece with Travis Wall. You always find a connection with the partner, but with Jason, I felt like we wanted it so bad, and I was so comfortable with him. And there was never that awkward tension, because it really was a, a very intense piece in a very subtle way. Well, not that subtle, Janine. I mean, there was not a full-on, well, I mean, like, was smooch a rooney at the end. Which was not I choreographed. Mean... Do you think you have what it takes to win the title America's Favorite Dancer? I think I do. I am determined, and I, I love what I'm doing. I definitely hope to represent so Indian Dance as their winner, and I hope to take the title, but um, you never know. They're going to have to vote for me. You never know. So we'll you see what know. happens. She wants your votes, America. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Janine. to do that? Dude, that was a risky solo. <laughs> you could have fallen out of that, man. You killed, oh my God, you just killed it. Janine, Janine, I am so happy for you. You are such a beautiful woman. I love your body, your shape, your smile. And your dancing is so full of all the warmth and the, and, and the kindness that I see you doing backstage and everything, and I am so proud of you. You don't need that stupid plastic flower. What the <laughs> hell, girl? I mean, you are the only beautiful thing that needs to be up there, and you just fought Brandon back. from the first time I laid eyes on you, you have always been a standout. So never say never. I saw you coming, girl. You are peaking right at the right time. You have been growing every week, and you have elevated every single dance partner you have danced with because they can count on you 100% every time. You lift people. at the right time, and everybody here knows it, too. Everybody's in here. And such 
such a delight to just have in the studio and have her around. Nigel. So brave. Such a brave solo. You pulled it off, there's no question about that. We've always said you don't win a lottery unless you buy the ticket. Not only did you buy the ticket tonight, you're in the final two as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I mean... You've stepped up there now. You are there as an equal. Brilliant. Great reviews, my friend. <laughs> Great reviews.